Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. So excited you're here with me in today's video. My name is Callie Alexandria if you're new here and today we are going to be doing a vision board. So I'm going to be creating a 2022 vision board and we're going to make it digital. So last year I actually did a 2021 vision board and I filmed it so I will make sure I leave it up here for you guys to check out but it was so fun and there's just something to be said about vision boards and how really just like looking at vision boards and imagining what you put on your vision boards that things start coming to life. Like it is so bizarre. I will tell you guys a little bit of a story later on in this video about my 2021 vision board and how it kind of came to life. So more on that to come, but thank you guys so much for clicking on this video. Make sure you give it a like if you enjoy this type of content and make sure you subscribe because I post videos every single Wednesday. So make sure you guys stick around for that. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into the video. Okay, so obviously you guys have seen by the title, we are making a 2022 visual vision board and that was just such a tongue twister so I'm so excited to just take you guys through the process. I actually ended up creating it just before I started this video so I'm gonna make sure I leave a lot of screen recordings and visuals for you guys to just see so you guys can do it with me or do it after you watch this video. So like I said before vision boards are just so amazing for just like manifesting things into your life and I really really swear by vision boards especially as a business owner and entrepreneur because mindset is everything whenever you are a business owner and I am fully self-employed and without just like positive affirmations and bringing my vision to life through my vision board I really think that is like the make or break deal especially if you are a person who likes to stay confident and just to switch their mindset to just better ways of thinking and that is something that I really strive for. So the very first thing that we need to do whenever you're wanting to get to your vision board started is you have to figure out what your goals and ambitions are for the new year. So what I personally did is I went on Google Docs and all I did was create just a table. So as you guys can see, I just put a lot of different goals. So whether it is personal, professional, career, if you're in college, if you have spiritual goals, whatever it may be, I kind of just brain dumped in a bullet point format onto this document. And that kind of just helped me remain on track just because whenever you're gonna go pull the photos for your actual vision board, I kind of like to reference the table so I don't like miss anything because I would hate for like me to create that vision board and then all of a sudden I go next week and I'm like oh my god I totally forgot about my personal goals. All of these are professional goals so that is just something to keep in mind and it's just good to brain dump everything so you can reference that later on. and go on the handy dandy trusty old pinterest.com where you're going to source all of your images that you're going to use for your vision board. So I will say all of these photos like I'm just using them for personal use so if you're going to like go and like sell vision boards or something you have to use stock images because you're literally using somebody else's content but for me this was just for my personal use so I went and just looked through Pinterest and I referenced that table that I made in the Google Doc form or the Google Drive whatever it is called so what I'm doing is just going back and forth making sure I have all of the images according to my vision for 2022 so for me it was a lot of wedding stuff since I am getting married in September of 2022 maybe some honeymoon stuff maybe some additional travel stuff obviously career and professional goals and just being a girl boss essentially and an entrepreneur so as you can see a lot of my images that I pulled are a lot of quotes and affirmations because those are just huge for me because it is important on your low days to remind yourself that there are highs coming and that it just happens that in life that there is always going to be lows and highs so yeah 
I hope that helps you guys, but you just need to get your images. So whether you use Pinterest or not, just make sure you source your images. And then the last thing you need to do, so this is probably one of the more time consuming tasks other than sourcing the images, and that is just putting all your images into a canva.com. I love using Canva, but honestly you can use any type of editing software like PicMonkey or whatever you guys have. But it is important to make sure whether you are using this vision board for your personal desktop or you're using it for your iPhone, the dimensions are gonna be different. So I would just do a quick Google search and kind of see what dimensions are for your laptop or whatever it may be, because that is gonna be super helpful in creating this vision board. So once you have all the images in Canva, it is super easy. All you have to do is put them onto your little blank canvas. And then I like to just find a background color that I like. So obviously for me, it was pink. I am obsessed with pink. So I made sure the background color was pink, but just whatever, just do whatever works for you and whatever you like, because this is your vision board and you're going to be looking at this every day as you should with a vision board. So yeah, just pick whatever you like, but all you have to do is move the photos into the blank canvas. So that's just gonna be the home for your 2022 virtual vision board. So all I'm doing is now just making sure all the images are there, making sure I have enough to cover the entire like desktop screen. So from here, you can kind of do whatever looks best. So whether it is making the images smaller or bigger or moving them around. So this is kind of up to you. So be creative and do whatever looks good for you and that you're going to enjoy looking at because that is the whole point of this process is just in making something that you enjoy looking at and referencing every single day of your 2022. And you guys, that is pretty much it on how to do a virtual vision board. I hope this helped. And I do wanna quickly tell you guys my story that I was talking about in the beginning of this video on my 2021 vision board. So what I did last year is I actually created like a hard vision board, so one in person. So I would go and print off all of the photos and put it on the vision board, the exact same process that I used in this video, but just like, in person, if you will. So what I did last year is I took this really cool travel photo and I think this girl was in Hawaii and she had her back turned to the camera so you couldn't see her actual face. So I was like, oh, this is such a cool travel photo. Maybe I'll put it on my vision board. So what I did was I printed it off, put it on my vision board, and I had no idea who the girl was in the photo, and this is gonna come into play later on in the story, but I just thought it was a cool travel photo for inspiration for my 2021 year. So then after that, it was super cool. I think this was like in March, so like three months after I actually created the vision board, and what had happened was I had somebody reach out to me to work with them. So I take a lot of different clients for Pinterest management. Like I said, I own a digital marketing agency, if you guys watch my videos, I mention that all the time. So I had a client who reached out and it was so cool because this client, her photo was actually the travel photo that I put on my vision board. So like I said, vision boards really work in mysterious ways because I was just using that photo for travel inspiration, whereas that girl actually reached out and I still talk to her to this day and I just think it's such a cool story because you never know what can come out of, you know, actually putting your mind to something and manifesting something and visualizing something. So I thought that was a cool story that I wanted to share with you guys. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful. Let me know if you guys make your own vision board. I think they are so amazing and they are just so much fun to create. So leave a comment if you do. But thank you guys again for watching. I post new videos every single Wednesday so make sure you hit that subscribe and that bell button so you get notified for every time I post but with that I am going to wrap up this video and I just want to say thank you again and I will see you guys next time bye <laughs>